Ondo headers, flaunt anti-open grazing law as cows attack injures motorcyclists to others. Hello, my wonderful people. These people are stubborn as the cow. Yes, as stubborn as the cow. How can, you know, how can, you know, a, a law be put in place? The police are paying no attention whatsoever to ensure that this law is enforced, you know, and it's just a very sad occurrence, okay? Very sad indeed. And, um, I mean, how can, you know, cows be allowed to roam around? And now look at what is happening. The cows have gone ahead and have, you know, in somebody has been injured, yes? Somebody has been injured in the process and these things are happening. You know, people, who, those who have to pay attention to these things. This is the reason in the first place, the Southern governors came together and said, you know what? Let us put a bound on open grazing. But it doesn't seem very much like this bound has been, is you no, know, it's been implemented or things have been put in place to ensure that, you know, this is taken care of. You see, um, in Ondo State, the headers were, you know, still flaunting the law in the process uh, uh, by uh, somebody who rides what we call Okada or bike or cyclist has been injured and two other persons. This is really sad. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Thank you. Ondo headers flaunt anti-open grazing law as cows attack angels motorcyclists and two others weeks after the anti-open grazing law was passed into law in ondo state the headers have continued to graze their cattle in some parts of the state the situation has become a very pathetic one in a cocoa uh, a part of the state as the headers constantly flaunt the law the latest was the attack by a, a raging cow which knocked down a commercial motorcyclist and two of his passengers the incident which occurred along the alafer okobo akoko road was said to have left the okada rider and two passengers seriously injured with the motorcyclist danger situation danger beyond repair the incident occurred when one of the cows in the heads was said to have left others while grazing in the area and attacked the victims on the motorbike. According to sources, the herders took to their heels for fear of a reciprocal, reciprocal attack by residents of the state houses. One of the sources also stated that the case was immediately reported to the Amutekun Corp officers within the locality who came to those of the tension following the incident that followed the incident. The victims were immediately taken to a nearby hospital for urgent medical attention. Amutekun has taken it up to seize the cow and to carry on further proceedings on this issue. So this is what is going on. In Ondo State, the headers are still not and still not obeying the law. Quite sad, you see, quite sad. They are still not obeying the law. They are still, you know, continuing with business as usual, as if you know they have the place. You know, as if they have the place. This is what is going on. This is on this is not this is not what should be. There should be law and order, things should be done decently and in order. However, this has not been the case. These people have continued to flaunt the law. Nobody's saying anything. Everybody's silent. You know, um, you know, definitely in some parts of the state, it will take time for these things to be fully, you know, uh, immersed. We take time for these things to be fully, you know, uh, uh, getting into order. But the truth of the matter is when you make a law, for the law to be enhanced, for the law to be enforced, uh, machineries and things have to be put in place to ensure that this law is followed to ensure that this law is not flaunted by some people. You see, so putting the law is one thing. Ensuring that the law, yeah, is, is implemented and followed through to, for people to understand because change is difficult, you see. And that's why the Fulani headsmen are kicking left, right and center, insisting that they must, you know, they must have their way. They want to grace. They want to continue in this track, you see. This is why the Fulanis are doing that because they've done it for so long. They've done it for so, so long. They cannot begin to understand why they should stay in one place. They are used to walking around. 
you know, there is the thing in their foot now associated with moving around without paying attention to the fact that they may be doing the wrong thing. They are so used to it now, you see, because they've done it for so long. Hands, it's been handed down to them from generation to generation. And this is quite, you know, quite uh, something, you see. So that's why when they said no more grazing, stay in your locality or don't be moving from the north to the south, from the south to the west, you know, go stay in the north, stay in one place. There is what we call ranching. That is the new way cattle are being grazed these days. They don't understand it. They, they cannot they cannot even relate with it you know but it's something they have to they have to implement they have to understand they have to follow for the good of all and even for their own safety they don't understand the dangers involved in this you know some of them encounter very dangerous animals in the, in the bush you know we're, we're not even going into that right now but the truth of the matter is implementation ensuring that it, that this law that this law that has been passed is being followed to the latter is a good way to start. You cannot uh, sit down and pretend that all is well. You know, when things have start, when, when things have been put into law, the, 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 the beauty of it is that the law is followed and everybody understands that this is now a law. This is now the way of life. It doesn't matter what you feel or what you think it should be. This has now become what the norm says, you see, especially the Fulanese. For, for, for crying out loud, these people are used to you know, especially with this administration for the past five, six years, they've, they've gotten used to the fact that they are being supported, that, um, you know, people, whatever happens, there is no punishment for whatever actions they have taken. You know, they've gotten used to the fact that, um, you know, they can get away with whatever they've done. There is no recourse to punishment. There is no... Um... So whether you like it or not, it's not enough to make a law implementation enforcing that law goes a long way you know the law has to be enforced somebody has to ensure that these things are done decently and in order so at the end of the day it's not just a word that is just there and nothing particularly you know being done about it you know it's not enough to say oh there is a law yes there is a law so how is this law being implemented? How do people really understand and realize that it's a law? And what is the punishment for offenders? You see, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless. Bye for now.